In Chem 1102, we'll be covering lots of different chemical reactions. And the most important thing that we're going to do is to understand those chemical reactions by looking at the, uh, the mechanisms, the mechanistic detail of what's happening as the reaction goes. But just at this early stage, it's useful for us to appreciate that lots of these reactions can be classified into different groups. So they're actually quite similar in terms of the changes that are happening overall. Um, even if we don't yet understand the mechanisms of the reactions. So this little video and some of the questions in your quiz for this week are about understanding uh, what kinds of reactions are, are taking place uh, without necessarily understanding the details. Uh, there are five different kinds of reactions that we need to look at very quickly. Um, and the first is the one that's on the screen right now. The most obvious one is uh, it's an acid-base reaction where we're just talking about shuttling around H plus between a molecule and the thing that's reacting with it. So in this case at the top we've got um, acetic acid, uh, vinegar, uh, reacting with hydroxide to give this acetate anion and water. Um, in the bottom case there's also a reaction which is maybe less familiar but is the same general principle. Here we've got uh, phenol uh, reacting with hydroxide again to give an anion and water. It's the same idea. We're just uh, trafficking around H pluses doing acid-base reactions. Um, you should appreciate also that you know, many of these reactions are reversible uh, and the same term applies. These are just acid-based reactions. Okay, maybe less familiar to many of you um, are the other reaction types. So the first one that we'll do in this new, new area is, uh, is a substitution reaction, which is the one that's shown here. Uh, and all we're doing here is taking an organic molecule. Um, here it's a chloride. Uh, and we're, we're substituting that group, the chloride group, for another group. Um, so again, we don't know the details of this yet, but the overall change is we're swapping, we're substituting the chloride for the, for the OH. Um, we end up with a, a molecule with the same number of sigma bonds. Uh, we're just swapping one group for another. Um, the next reacting type would be an addition reaction. Um, typically speaking, what happens here is we have a, an organic molecule with a double bond in it, um, and we're adding some reagent, which ends up being added to the molecule. So we go from a, a compound with a, with a double bond uh, to a compound with two new sigma bonds, where the reagent is simply added in. We've gone from two molecules to one molecule. Um, the next reaction type will be an elimination, which is essentially the opposite of, of the addition reaction. Um, here we've got some organic compound, and we eliminate a little molecule from that compound. Um, in this case, we're going to be eliminating HBr from this molecule on the left uh, to give the product on the right, where there's a, a double bond. So we're going from lots of single bonds to a, a compound with a double bond in it. Um, and we're using a reagent here, OH, to, to do that. So we end up with the R- and, and water. Um, but you should think about these reactions as the elimination of a small molecule like HBr uh, from this, this it's bromoalkane molecule to give something with a double bond. So lots of sigma bonds to a compound with a double bond in it. And the last reaction type is perhaps the, the least familiar. Um, these are, are redox reactions, or oxidations and reductions. Now, you may have seen oxidation and reduction um, in inorganic chemistry before now. But we need to cover it also in organic chemistry. Um, and these are uh, cases where essentially the oxygen content of the molecule goes up or down. Um, so in the case of an oxidation, um, up at the top there, we start with a molecule which you'll see is an alcohol. Um, and we add some reagent, which we'll come to in a later lecture. And we get some compound in the middle. Here it's an aldehyde. Um, and then if that oxidizes further, we go to a carboxylic acid. And we'll come to these, these different groups and what they are. Uh, in the course of the lectures. But all, for, all you need to do for now is just perceive that um, the oxygen content, you know, as, as a function of weight of the molecule, the mass of the molecule, is going up. Um, we're removing H's, essentially, from the molecule. Um, ultimately, it's hydrogen gas, I guess, but we're removing H's from the molecule, and, and as a percentage by mass, the oxygen content's going up as we go from the alcohol to the aldehyde to the carboxylic acid. So we call that an oxidation reaction. Uh, the opposite is a reduction reaction, which is shown on the bottom, where you start with a molecule with oxygens in it, um, and you add some reagent. Again, we'll come to that in a later lecture. And you've got a compound on the right there, the bottom right, which is an alcohol. Um, and again, we've added in uh, hydrogen. Uh, the, the oxygen content of the molecule, uh, as a function of, of mass of the molecule, has gone down. Um, and we call this a, a reduction reaction when, when you see that oxygen content reducing right there. Uh, so these are the, uh, the five different reaction types um, and they, uh, th that we're going to be considering. Um, uh, try now and do the, the, the quiz questions so that uh, you can check that you can perceive the, these different changes. Um, and we'll go over them again in the lecture a little bit. Um, and then we'll see some of the mechanisms of these reactions as we go through the course. 
and that's it.